recently inducted into the Christian Music Hall of Fame along with such greats as Candy Satan and Barbara Mandrell, David L. Cook uses humor to touch the hearts and the lives of others. David L. Cook is my guest today on Babby's House. It's coming up right now. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Babby's House. I'm so honored that you take time out of your busy day to be a part of Babby's House. You are our very special guest, and thanks for stopping by. You know, usually I sing a song at this part of the show, but you know, I have a friend who has just come in from Crab Bottom, USA. His name is Mortimer Crab Bottom. Now, Mortimer is a very special person, and he has got some wonderful news. Well, I don't know if it's wonderful or not. We're going to find out. But he is telling me about a riveting trial coming from Crab Bottom, USA. Crab Bottom, USA. Let's talk to Mortimer Crab Bottom. What's happening, Mortimer? How you doing, Dad? <laughs> How you doing? I'm doing fine, Sugar. How are you? I'm doing fine. Now, you know, just to get started, I'm looking at you, looking at me. She's looking at me like I'm a Twinkie at a Weight Watchers convention, okay? <laughs> just be careful, okay? Be careful now. Be careful. <laughs> so, but, Babby, I'm telling you, there is a trial going on. It just ended. Well, honey, okay. tell me all about it. I'm going to tell you. You know I attend the Ebenezer Shout the Top of Your Head Off Church in Crab Bottom. You know, <laughs> oh, what services we have there. But anyway, Sister Bertha Better Than You, this trial has been going on for weeks, okay? It all had to do with our last revival. But people are just tuning in. The media is all over Crab Bottom USA is right now. Right? It's so bad that Al-Qaeda even asked for a link into the courtroom. <laughs> it really is. That's bad when it was, when, when um, Al-Qaeda wants to be a part oh, of it. Oh, it's just bad. But anyway, there we were in revival. I was there. I was a witness. They called me as a witness. But anyway, there we were right there in the in the church and uh, and, and, and Pastor Tom, was, he was just a preaching and a stomping and a snorting. And you know, Sister Bertha, she sits on the very back row. You know, she just, she sits back there and she's got one of them imitation iguana leopard skin patent leather handbooks with an extended <laughs> handle, you know. And that way when the Holy Spirit hits her, she reach out and spreads it around, you know. She, <laughs> concussions, I've seen that very hand. Concussions like crazy. Yes, all in right. the name of Jesus. In the though, name of Jesus. In the name I of Jesus. That. But there we were, okay, and, and, and he was a preaching and a stomping and a snorting, you know, and all of a sudden we heard that ever faint little familiar sound like a little helicopter taking off. We knew Sister Bertha was getting a blessing. That purse was taking off, okay? Oh, my goodness. And so all of a sudden we heard bam, like that, just like that, bam. I'm getting the picture. Okay, Sister Chin Hair. Okay. Sister Chin here. Sister Chin here had accidentally set two rows from the back instead of three. Okay. Okay. Forgetting about Sister Bertha's imitation iguana leopard skin patent leather handbook. <laughs> well, she had just been to the parlor and had a brand new weave done. It <laughs> Fried, did, died, and laid to the side. It was depicting the Last Supper, complete with fishes on the plate, okay? And all of a sudden, okay, I looked over, and Jesus had moved completely out of the picture. Oh, goodness. She had accidentally ripped the weave right off Sister Chin Hare's head. Oh, my goodness. Yes. The church was in pandemonium. Okay, they, the whole church thought they were in the spirit and came out shouting just about as loud as they did until the police showed up. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Sister Chin Hare had called the popo on her celica phone and her told phone. yes and told them that she had just been assaulted okay with a deadly weed okay <laughs> assault with a deadly weed it was assault right she's been charged with assault with a deadly weed 
and she is now it's the trial of the century i'm telling you some good stuff there we were no, right in the right. middle of the of the trial and the church was doing what it needed to do. You know, it brought covered dishes to the back of the church, you know, or the courtroom. And right everything. there in the courtroom. Right there in the courtroom. Fried yeah. chicken, potato salad, pound cake, it sweet tea. It was so bad. Deacon Wedgett bought ribs, okay? Deacon Wedgett. Yes, and you know he's got a sugar problem. <laughs> and his sugar went low on him, and he went messed up in the head, and he started screaming at Sister Bertha to give him back the rib that God took from him. And Sister Bertha screamed back, I already ate it. <laughs> yes, she did. Yes, she did. Oh, that was a blessing right Honey, there. tell me more. Oh, but anyway, he turned around and hit her in the middle of the weed with a rib. She used it as an accessory. She's sitting right there on trial with a spare rib right stuck in her head. Oh my. Yes, yes. So, but anyway, I, I digress. The, the, I should say so. Yes, the trial <laughs> commenced, okay, and they were coming in, testifying and everything. Okay, we did have a little bit of problem, okay, because Sister Camp Ben, she brought banana pudding. Sister can't bend. Can't bend. Uh-huh. She can't bend. Okay. So anyway, <laughs> she turned around and brought her famous banana pudding to the to the trial, okay? Moved the whole courtroom. <laughs> Literally. Moved them, okay? <laughs> now, I'm not talking about in the spirit. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> but moved them right out of the court. Yeah. So, Moving but anyway, right along. but anyway, they found that she could not be held liable. She could not be held liable, okay, for acts of God. Yes, because the spirit had taken her Absolutely. over. So therefore, she was found not guilty. Cool. But there's another problem. Okay. Sister Chin Hair didn't take it very well. Yeah. Okay, didn't oh, yeah. take it very well Booty at all. Woman. No. So, but she, because of her notoriety and everything, she has had to step up security. She's on the talk show circuit right now. Yes. So she went and got her a can of mace because of all of the fans and everything after her. It happened. it happened. She was on her way to do a talk show. She was on the set, reached into her pocketbook to get the hairspray to give her hair. So, you know, she's sanctified, so she needs hairspray. Yes, I see it coming. Accidentally grabbed the mace and maced herself right in the middle of a Jerry Springer episode. Mm hmm. Move Jerry. <laughs> Move Jerry. Okay. So, but that's what's been going on. And, you know, I want everybody to pray. 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 Just pray yes. that Sister Chin Hair will let go of and, all of that animosity. And let God. Let God. <laughs> Just let God. Mortimer, thank you for coming and being on Baptist thank House you. today. Thank you. Thank you so much come for having me. Come back again me. and be with me. I'll be here. I'll be here. Well, we're going to come back with more of Babby's House right after this. Stay with us.